I'm about to clean this shit up out here. Just got to live in the hood. Don't mean I got to lay up there and live in this dirt. So come on, Josh. Follow me, camera. August 23, 2005, Hurricane Katrina, a large Category 5 Atlantic hurricane caused over 1,800 deaths and $125 billion in damage. Flaws in the flood protection system known as levees around the city of New Orleans, caused most of the loss of lives. The flooding also destroyed most of New Orleans' transportation and communication facilities, leaving tens of thousands of people who had not evacuated the city prior to landfall stranded with little access to food, shelter, or other basic necessities. One or two. I need someone out here, ma'am. I'm gonna die in this attic. The water is steady rising in the attic, ma'am. And I'm gonna drown in the attic. And I'm 37 years old. A young man named Kirby that lived in the Cali Yo Housing Projects began to document the devastation with a series of YouTube videos titled Cali Yo Live It. It's real out here. Oh like man, we got a fan out here, bro. That's cool. And you know, I ain't blaming nobody or nothing. But trash pickup, somebody need to be monitoring the trash around here, how fast it fill up. And the trash schedule needs to be changed so that this trash don't fill up like this. This ain't right. This, these people right here don't need a dump. They don't need, they dump as much as the people right here. The people use this dump right here, everybody. Everybody Check right here, I walk in to this Check dump. Kirby was ahead of his time in the YouTube genre known as vlogging. He would often be behind the camera filming the days of his friends and neighbors. His friends quickly became cast members in the real-life drama that felt like a reality show. The vlogs were very entertaining. A few of the young men were aspiring rappers and would often display their talents throughout the videos. I'm about to get it poppin' yeah. like a nightclub. Club, Club night 550 with the white dove. dove. Keep it hood, polo fit, G night up. Chromed out 1100 like I'm in a bike club. Get amped, I turn this bitch to a fight club. Stomp a nigga out, right. showing what my knife does. Yep. I got it to spin, so I'm showing all type love. Like bug, bitch, cause I'm on, like a light bug. All type guns, to the small type one, to the top of clip with curve, that's you all night long. I go hard like stone. You could call me cook coke. I cook coke and get it hard like stone. Break it down, hit the block, get my all night on. Flighting. Flighting, I'm talking all night long. Fall with the high beam like the car light on bullets bigger than the bumper that the fog lights on one of kirby's friends was and still is a well-known new orleans rapper who goes by the name cali yovar cali yovar was a staple in the housing projects and supported the talents of the young men been a day in the life of cali yovar you know said it like some date five type shit whole niggas be down, won't talk heard, money and bitch. shit like niggas ain't get money out here what right now day in the life of my nigga fall holding it down you heard Niggas still trying to figure out why they got niggas in your own hood hating. I don't even much know. But they were f the niggas then and it's f the niggas now. Cali, your fall hood starting a motherfucking building, nigga. Niggas and we get is. money around here, nigga. Yeah. Believe that, nigga. We don't talk, nigga. We lit as shit, nigga. Money, nigga. Ain't no tens, fives, nigga. Hundreds, nigga. Cali Yovar was to some people looked at as the new master P of the housing project. He started to help produce and promote the talent from the Cali Yo under his label, Hoodstar Entertainment, in hopes to remove some of the young men from the constant cycle of prison and murder. Unfortunately, the poverty-stricken city of New Orleans would eventually claim the lives of some of Kirby's friends. Raymond was too fucking good, though, to everybody. Everybody. Raymond was too good to everybody. What can you say bad about Raymond? You can't say nothing bad about me. You know, I've been losing sleep behind me. Yeah, me, Cali Ryan. Signing out. Raymond Marrero was shot outside a famous Third Ward bar on June 27, 2010, around 2.30 a.m., near the corner of South Russia Blade Street and Washington Avenue. He was shot over 20 times and was rushed to the hospital. About a month later, he would succumb to his injuries. He passed away on July 23, 2010, at the age of 25 years old. Justin J. Hood Edwards was also shot along with Raymond. He was rushed to the hospital by a group of their friends, but he later died the same day of the shooting. Kirby documented both of his friends' deaths and continued to film the harsh reality of living in the Cali Yo projects. He would often vlog his frustration with the senseless violence that was going on in his community. 
know you won't keep on riding with somebody who ain't here no more. You go ahead then. Cause they don't care. They can't care. They can't tell you to ride. They probably will tell you to live your own life. They can tell you anything. Why are you doing shit with me? On Tuesday, March 12, 2013, tragedy would strike once again among the group of friends. Sadiqi Navar, nicknamed Diki, was found shot multiple times in the driver's seat of his car at the intersection of Claiborne and Earhart Avenue, just blocks away from the Cali Yo. It was said that he was leaving his job as a plumber in the housing development. He was well loved in the community. Over 200 people attended his candlelight vigil and what seemed like the entire housing project attended his afterlife celebration. Family members made it very clear that they did not want anyone to seek vengeance for his murder. After the passing of Diki, Kirby would upload a few more videos. Kirby started what he titled, The New, Cali You'll Live In, Episode 1. It was the last upload on his channel. Recipes of my brother, freak of Diki, you heard me? Y'all know what it is already. I ain't get a tatty yet, but it's getting there, you heard me? This is a VIP, freak of Diki fans, you heard me? We everywhere tonight. Get it on, make it on that, make it on that. You heard me? Rest in peace. Oh.